As Florida prepares for Ian, first responders in Hampton Roads also are getting ready. The impacts of the storm are predicted to be less severe in Virginia, but tonight emergency managers told Ann Sparacco that you can never be too prepared. As we track the path of Hurricane Ian, emergency responders in Hampton Roads are getting ready for any outcome. And we certainly want people to know what to do if there is flooding. We always begin to uh, think about the preparations that would be necessary in the event of a problem, uh, a storm. We may be missing the major impacts of the hurricane, but Bruce Nadelka with Virginia Beach EMS says that's no reason to lack preparation. Be sure that you take proper uh, medications and things with you. Be sure you take your important papers uh, and you have a plan. Make sure you contact uh, your family outside of the area so that they know that you're you know, leaving the area. He says while he gets his team ready to go when the storms hit, he asks the people in Hampton Roads to try to help lighten the load. If if there is an order out to, hey, stay off the road, stay out, you know, unless it's essential for you to get from one place to another, stay off the road. It's going to be difficult for us to traverse the, the downed trees and the power lines and and the low-lying flooding, we don't need to have cars that are also uh, stuck because they've gone through a deep puddle and now they're stalled and now we have to have more problems going around them. Nadelka says this will help first responders handle their volume of calls with fewer people in need of help. Um, and just, just have a plan. Make sure you review that with the families now as opposed to during the storm. In Virginia Beach, I'm Ann Sparacco for 13 News Now.